My name is Mrs. Chidima Onwara and my son's name is uh, Chizitelo Onwara. He was diagnosed of tracheosophageal um, atresia. The first hospital we went through was not um, giving us what we wanted, but um, through recommendation and referral, we spoke to Dr. Arau. Yeah. And he asked us to come over to Evercare. The baby came to us via a private ambulance and we admitted the baby straight into the neonatal intensive care. The neonatologist and all the pediatric crew were working really hard to um, resuscitate the baby because he really came in very, very sick. The sheer speed of which we got received the day we came here. Mm -hmm. Even before our, I didn't even pay for any medical um, uh, bill or whatever, my, my, my child was already being taken care of, yeah. even first class medical attention. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to ventilate the baby, place the baby on mechanical ventilation, and it was uh, placed on intravenous antibiotics and continuous suctioning of the upper esophagus. As you can imagine, the esophagus is disconnected from each other and the lower part of the esophagus is which is uh, where the swallowing pipe is connected to the trachea so as he is breathing air is entering the lower esophagus and distending the stomach and also the he cannot swallow his own saliva so the saliva is pouring into his trachea and causing more um, infection and pneumonia of which i was with him all through at that period when he was you know, even having you know some cardiac arrest and all that, at the point where he wasn't even breathing. The technique that we used for this procedure was the first in Nigeria, which is a minimal access, known as thoracoscopic repair of oesophageal atresia. Currently, in many parts of the country where this procedure is done, the surgeon will make an incision at the chest at the side of the chest, usually the right side of the chest, to access the esophagus and do the repair. And um, this is um, usually successful in several cases, but there is also high mortality because of the um, post-operative management of these patients. And also, it also um, comes with occasional morbidity because of chest wall deformity, because of the large incision. But in uh, the technique that we use is minimal invasive, um, three small incisions. So in that you eliminate the risk of chest wall deformity. The child has less stress in the surgery. And um, you can also do achieve the same results um, with minimally invasive surgery. At the time when you went into surgery, you had to wait, you had to uh, pray to God and expect that it will be successful. So all those moments, uh, we are a bit, a bit worried. But like I said earlier, God has been gracious. So I've seen and given us the mind and the pres that the presence of mind to be able to go through them. For four to five days, he was still unable to uh, feed by mouth. He started feeding via the nasogastric tube. At the fifth day, uh, we took him in for a study to check the connection that we did. That's the anastomosis, which is uh, connecting the esophagus together again. And we discovered the anastomosis was good and was intact. So we commenced um, feeding the baby through the mouth. It's funny actually, but then this is the experience I've had so far. Like, you know, when I tell look at Blizzard, I've had my child and then they were like, okay, where's the baby? And I was like, he's still in the hospital. And then maybe when I've, after I've told them some a little of its story, then they'll be like, how come you left your baby in the hospital and you're here? And I tell them, well, when you get to Evercare, when you get to the hospital, you'll be confident enough to leave the baby. In regards to uh, Dr. Arua, he is somebody who has been able to connect to us as parents. Mm -hmm. He's been able to speak to us, understands how to relate to, mm -hmm. to us being the parents of Chisitello. Chisitello is going to be with us for a while. Um, 
is going to see us frequently um, because we need to continue to monitor his ability to swallow, we continue to monitor his breathing, we continue to monitor his growth. He needs to gain um, weight and continue to gain weight. So we'll be reviewing him as he grows. So um, as a pediatric surgeon, usually some of these um, problems, uh, they are your patients for the rest of your life as a surgeon because they continue to see you as until they become adults.